Hey vlog day two. So I'm going to Disneyland today. How exciting. Now, I did wake up at like 6.30 because I planned to get to Disney for rope drop A. Um, but it's now 8.20 and I've not done it yet. So that's always good. I'm about to leave now though. I just finished, oh shit. I keep remembering more and more shit. Because this is the thing, like, when you travel alone, you've got no one else to rely on. Um, do I need blotting papers? Probably not. I'm probably dramatic as fuck. Do I need Panadol? Maybe I'll take some parasites more just in case. Um, but that's the thing. You just bring shit because you're like, oh, I don't know, maybe I'll need it. You probably won't fucking need Panadol, Fox. You fucking, like, neurotic bitch. But, like, anyway. Um... No, so I'm like planning to leave like now ish. Go to Disney. So that's exciting. I think with this trip is I've kind of done it like a capsule wardrobe. Like I've brought quite a lot of clothes, but not really. So I like I'm kind of wearing the same thing every day. Obviously I'm gonna wear my brown boots. I actually wore these to formal. Um love that. Now I'd go to formal in like a dress and like six inch heels and back then I just wore like a light blue blazer and thought I was top of shit. It's always funny that isn't it? when you look back to your past and you're like, oh my evolution. Okay. So I think that's everything kids. Now I was gonna bring like a coat or something but I don't really want to carry it all day. So I'm just gonna hope it doesn't rain. Um, not that that's a very good attitude to have but Okay. I should have lost my life. There's the locker space in the day. And there's the like dumping out for shirts and every time I had around. I'm gonna come put my keys away. I really hope I'm not getting too cold. Sunscreen. I'm walking around Disney all night. Okay. Okay, well, I'm gonna put sunscreen on and then I'll continue in a sec. Okay, I actually did want to update, so I'm just leaving now. And I just realized there's like a cemetery across the road from me, which I don't have a problem with. Like, it's not, it's not an issue. But it's just like, I didn't realize. Okay, I didn't actually realize where I was staying it was gonna be this busy. So many people all around me. So many people walking. I think this is the thing that's rush hour. And I was gonna try to avoid the trains at rush hour. I said I might walk last night. And if not really. I'm still in like peak rush hour. But it is what it is. What are you gonna do? Um, anyway, so it's now 8.30, so I'll be at Disney like an hour late. Well, an hour and a half late, but oh well. Here's Tokyo. I sent you a postcard from Tokyo. I just checked Google Maps and it's saying significant delays, which is always good, but oh well. I'm in Japan. I can't believe I'm really in Japan. This is crazy. I'm like the only non-Japanese person in this entire area. It's fine. So many people. Oh my god. This is crazy. I thought I was in like a small metro station, but I'm not. Okay, I need to go now because I need to concentrate. Every same rain station is like this. This is hectic. It's so full on here. Love this. Yeah. This is like the crazy, busy Japan that I was kind of waiting for. Everywhere's like this. It's insane. Changing from one company to another. I'm getting onto the KO line for Disneyland Tokyo as well. Exciting. Disney, insane, look how busy it is. 
Actually, in America, it's not this busy. Uh, it is now, but it wasn't when I used to go. Crazy. Okay, well, I'm gonna go top up my sukkah, just so I've definitely got enough for my way by. It's probably a good idea. I hope these have English on them. They should do. I mean, I'm at this English, there we go. That's ideal. Okay. This is so weird because it's obviously like Japanese, but you can see like the hints of Disney's Americana and the palm trees in the background and stuff. This is so weird. It's kind of cool though. It's very like a unique experience. I'm glad I didn't bring a jump because I'm already too hot. Okay, well, I'm coming up to the Tokyo Disneyland Resort. For my, for my Snapchat. Bon voyage. This is gonna be busy. This is gonna be a day. This is gonna be an entire. Wow. Iconic. Fun. I feel like Ricky Dillon. Fun. I'm glad I pre purchased my ticket because that reduces some of the stress. Tokyo. Disney. Okay, well, I might continue walking and vlog when I'm in the park. But exciting stuff. Yes! Oh, this is cute. Anyway, well, that's good. I get to skip all the queues, so I've already bought my ticket. That makes things a bit faster. Is that about how much I paid? I don't know. Cool, I went through bag security. Now I'm going in. This is so busy. Disney's somewhat lost its magic of how busy it is. I'm queuing to get in now, and I'm like, fuck, I need to go and get my fast pass to sap. I should have been here like an hour and 20 ago, but here's what it is. Okay, so it's incredibly busy, and it's like a Thursday today. Oh, I guess because there's a Halloween celebration, so it's the 35 year anniversary. But, cool. So I'm in. I'm in the park, scan my ticket, it works, that's always good. I can see the castle. I love Disney. I love this trip already. Holy fuck. I can't believe I'm at Disney in Tokyo alone. I thought there was going to be more maps in English, but there's not. But I'll just wing it like I'm doing everywhere else. Oh my god, this is so busy. Like, look, I get it, trust in the trust. Like, you gotta make money, you gotta make checks, but like... Shit. I think I'm gonna go and immediately look for the stuff. Get my fast passes. Space Mountain, Splash Mountain are the ones I need to do. There's some that are really hard to get, but I don't really care about them. We need the Pooh's Pooh Park, I don't care. But like, it's like a hard one to get. I really probably look, should look at the map, but because I've been to Disney before, yeah, look, I'm right behind the castle. And the Walt Disney statue, how cute. Um, but I've been to like lots of Disney's before, and they all have the hub and smoke model where you've got like worlds sticking out from everywhere. I think I might just wing it, but that's probably not a very good idea. But what are you gonna do? I'm in Disney. Oh, I found a map. Maybe I'll just read the map and stop being a fucking like white trash piece of shit. And it's all in Japanese. <laughs> Also, that's not been helpful anyway. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna get my map out. I forgot about all the weird shit Disney does. For some reason, there's like an entertainer dressed up as a bin man. Like, didn't they do that on Brit's Got Talent? Like, okay, good question. So I still not found a map, so I'm just kind of winging it. So I, I think I can see Space Mountain. I think I need to get a Space Mountain. Fast Pass Fox, it's already got a 90 minute wait time on it. Um, and then I think I'll try to get Splash Mountain. Fuck, this is busy. Tomorrow I'm getting to Disney Sea early. That opens at 8.30 because then I really want to do like Tower of Terror and shit. There wasn't too much I wanted to do here, so I wasn't so sad on it, but oh my god, it's so busy. Yeah. Yeah. Holy fuck. Honestly, if like little 12 year old Fox with like an anxiety disorder could see me now, he'd be shook. I'm still shook at myself. Why am I in Tokyo alone? I'm like, Oh, there's a, there were parades soon. Oh my god. I've never given a shit about parades. Oh, well that's good for me, actually. But there's parades. They don't, they bore me. I don't care. So it means that, like, most people should be sat down. Rather than getting pass passes for Space Mountain, which I'm trying to do. Pretty sure this is tomorrow on. Yes, ideal. Castle in the back, in the background. Cool. Work. I thought there was going to be more tourists here. <laughs> this is mostly just Japanese people. But that's fine. 
Um, I guess it's the same in America, really. But I don't know, I just for some reason thought it wasn't going to be here. Space Mountain! Yes! Everyone's staring at me, obviously, because I'm fucking in um, Disney. They all probably think I'm like some famous, like, English vlogger that are like, Oh my god, I love your channel. But I'm actually just like a bitch with like 25 subscribers that's not uploaded one video yet. Like, not to expose my brand or anything, but like, oh well, I just exposed it. See me in club. I just want to be in a family where I can have a dad and a Mr. Incredible costume and a son and a dad costume. Oh, that's another one. Oh, that's so cute. I love that so much. I'm like actually just like such an ass. Like, I'm, I'm gonna start crying at Disney because of like healthy father relationship. Update time! I think I'm fucking hilarious, don't I? People have told me though that lots of Japanese people have designer sort of so true, like, it's very true, like. Also, some of them are really glad, like, some of them wearing like heels to Disney and like an $8,000 Chanel bag. I'm like, okay, I don't know if that's it. So I'm wearing my like Windsor Smith shoes and a lovely arch, like, I'm cannot relate at all. So I've just kind of got my fast pass for Space Mountain, the castle. I can't really see. I can't really see either. I've got polarized sunglasses on, which is like the worst thing to have on. Sorry, you were like bending down to take a picture with the castle. Should I be a tourist and do that now? But how gorgeous. I mean, I can't believe I'm in Disney alone in a foreign country. No, so I didn't get that when I came in because I thought they were only Japanese. And I thought what I picked up was an English one, but it wasn't. So I just went and got a map. So that's always good to start with, you know to actually be at Disney with a map. So I've got to walk behind the castle in order to get to the Haunted Mansion, which is in Fantasyland. And I was literally on the other side of the park in, oh wait, Tomorrowland. I know, they're all dumb fucking names. I love you, Disney, but like, what would be rolling over in his grave if you realized how commercialized we've made this? Like, him for Disney was such an escape for the family and like, Epcot was gonna be this amazing new place where people lived and Instead, it's just this gentrified theme park where we sell like $15 churros and like hats that are $25. Like, it's. He would actually not approve, but that's fine. Um, we still love Disney. We still stand at Disney Legend. Can't really believe I'm actually at Disney. This is amazing. It looks like this girl's. This guy's just proposed to this girl. Um, look at that. Like, like a dead ass think they've just had their like Mario shots in front of the Disney castle, which is like a little bit embarrassing. Like, love you so much, Queen, but like, it's a cute castle, but at the end of the day, it's like, it's not a real castle. <laughs> like, sorry, fam. Okay, so I just uploaded my day one vlog, so it's now live. So you see in this, this is day three, so it's a bit of a delay, but finally got it up. Uploading it here was kind of a joke with my internet, but it's all up. I'm currently in the queue to Haunted Mansion, which is kind of exciting. So I'm gonna do this and then I'll probably have about another hour or so until I can do get my fast pass for Splash Mountain and go to Space Mountain. It's pretty exciting, just wanted to update you guys. I think the thing is, if you just don't care, you can vlog in public. Like, everyone will stare at you like, why are you talking to your phone? But it just is what it is. Also, I just realized the Haunted Mansion is now holiday theme. Like, it's the Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, not, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, that like Halloween movie theme because it's like Halloween in a couple of days. So I've come at a really good time. So I'm nearly on the Haunted Mansion. I'm actually vlogging the ride. Maybe I'll do that. That could be a fun. We'll see how we go. I think I'm nearly there. He said it was only half an hour, but I think that's bullshit. I think I've been in here more than half an hour, so we'll see. Anyway, stay gorgeous. I love the night. Alex I'm on the ride, but you can't leave, and I have a lot of people. And I was going to try to vlog it, but you won't even be able to see. My light, this is the best here. I loved him. I love that. Okay, so that was like a little bit of shit. Maybe I'm just like 
have no fun. And like, I'm hypercritical of everything. But like, I was literally showing them like, um, when's it gonna be entertaining and I'll do something or like, it's good to theme man. But like, actual ride, I remember it being a lot more exciting. I guess I was a lot younger at the time, but I was kind of like, oh, okay, cool, was that it? Like, it's a bit weird. I wonder whether, because it's like Halloween and there's a lot of Halloween theming, that they've like, people have come on purpose to experience that, possibly. I'm not too, too sure. I'm just kind of struggling to find anywhere to sit. It's not like janky as jam. I guess as well, the other reason that ride wasn't so good is because I can't speak Japanese, so I have no idea what's going on. And then there's like the odd English line, and I'm like, okay, Neiman how? <laughs> no idea. Oh, I'm gonna sit on this fountain and eat. Okay, this is cute. People are sitting at first. Okay, cute. Look at this. So let's sit here and eat, and then find the rest of my day. I need to tie my shoe next too, which is kind of inconvenient. But I'll vlog when I'm going to Space Mountain. I'm about to go in, so I'm gonna leave you here and then I'll give you a quick review afterwards. It's probably gonna be sure. It's kind of a cool view. See the camera? Did you decide not to exit? Right, but I don't know. This is cute. Okay, I'm gonna go. Maybe I'd go back to Disney World in Orlando and not find it as good as I used to find it and as magical. And I've always thought of it as like, not my heaven, that sounds dramatic, but like somewhere that I could always rely on being good. Maybe it's not. Everything in life has its flaws. And like that was just like a bit jolty, but a bit boring. Like Space Mountain was a bit like, well, it felt like so forced. I was also way too big for it. Like my legs were like struggled to fit in. So like that probably didn't help. I don't know, I kind of feel like I'm not, I'm not living and breathing by anything that I've done today. Everything's just kind of, doesn't have the Disney magic that I'm used to. Maybe it's just I can't speak Japanese and maybe it's just because I'm alone. Maybe it's like a lot of things, but like, I don't know, like underwhelming Disney experience. Like, yeah. I'm going to go on this Star Tours, I think now. Um, hopefully I quite enjoy that. But yeah, no, like, kind of a disappointing Disney experience, to be completely honest. Okay, so that was significantly better. Things are really looking up for Millhouse. It was the Star Wars ride and it was like a simulation you pretended you were like driving it, which was cool. I can't speak Japanese so I had no idea what was going on. But the actual concept was really cool and it was very like, it was like a seamless complete experience like Disney rides are known for. Whereas like all the other ones were just a ride, you know, like even the Haunted Mansion. And I remember that being really good in America but I guess it's not. Um, out here, or maybe it's not in America, and I just remember it wrong. Oh, anyway, that was fun. Things really slightly better. I might go to Splash Mountain, and then I might eat something. I've not decided what I want to do. 
but that was good. And honestly, just just shout that the hyped up ones that you have to wait two hours for aren't always the best. Look at this. Um, like that, I waited 20 minutes and that's been my favorite ride so far. Like, just is what it is. Oh, this is cute. Look at that. Ooh, where it's taking me out, so. Exit to Tomorrowland or to World Bazaar. I'm gonna do Tomorrowland again. I'm not sure where I'm going. It's really weird because there's some stuff that's in English and some stuff that's not. I think the thing is, it's like, as someone who's like, um, very conscious about their consumerism. It even has started to flow into food and being a little bit more careful about food. So like I brought snacks and I brought a water to fill up because like I don't like buying water, it's really bad for the environment. It's not even about money, it's the environment. But I think it's going to mean that this um, holiday is going to be significantly under budget. Like I'd allocated so much money and I feel like I'm actually not going to need any of it. Like, not any of it, but like I'm not going to need as much as I thought I was going to. Because like I've been at Disney now, what, like four hours and I've not spent a cent. Like, I've literally not spent anything. It's really interesting walking through these parks and seeing the rampant consumerism. And maybe the US parks are like it now too, probably actually. But almost every single person has a Disney hat on or a Disney shirt or a Disney bag or a dress or like, there's so much like, even like popcorn buckets that people are wearing as bags now and like, so much just crap that people are accumulating in these parks that I was never aware of and I guess I wasn't like I'm not a minimalist now but I wasn't hadn't researched minimalism when I went to the other parks but like it's interesting to see it all and like every single person pretty much I'm looking at just something Disney even if it's just ears like I just saw one person out of 20 then that didn't have some Disney merch on. Oh, maybe there's a parade coming up. Parades have never interested me. I remember literally being like eight in Disney and like going to sit for the parades and my parents would be so excited and I'd be like, not that bothered. Like I'd be like a little bit, but like mostly just like, <laughs> no. And then like, I'd kind of, it'd be over and I'd be like, cool, can we go now? <laughs> so I'm in the the country and I'm gonna head to Grandma Sarah's kitchen, I think. I looked at all the food options, that was kind of my fave. Um, shit. Oh. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today because a backstabbing little bitch got exactly what was coming to her. <laughs> I was literally just in that restaurant. Oh, this is quite cute. And the entire time, all I could think was that Chanel Oblink Crow. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. It's a backstabbing little bitch. Got exactly what was coming to her about Ariana Grande. I was gonna go do that canoe thing and I just realized you just paddle in a canoe. It's not quite what I thought it was. Someone waved at me, how cute. Um, yeah, so that's not quite as exciting as I thought it was. Maybe I should go on this boat, Mark Twain River boat. I'm trying to decide what to do now, because I don't want to do anything where I've got to like, like be on a ride, like motion sickness, because I'm literally just day, so this should be fun. I'm on the boat. It's a snake in my boat. This is kind of cute. I always seem to go on these. Oh, there's another deck. Didn't even realize there was another deck. At least top of my sunscreen if I stay up here now. Should probably do that anyway, to be fair. Love this. You can see all of the people. <laughs> Not really doing it. I mean, that's my whole brand. Honestly, I feel like if I remember rightly, these seem to go for ages. So I wish me luck. One thing that does impress me is how many people are dressed up. I've seen so many people dressed up. No one really does that in America. Maybe they do now, but they didn't use to. Sorry. Pigs make coffee in time. Can we not? This is closed, I'm so glad. I love Big Thunder, Mountain Railroad. No, but like so many people are dressed up, I'd say 40% are dressed up to come to the park. 
are probably not that high, maybe like 25%, which is like really impressive. No one ever does that. I didn't even put on my Mickey Mouse shoes, I forgot to bring it with me. The fact that Big Thunder Mountain is closed is literally like the saddest thing of my life. Like, I don't care. This is worse than Raffles being closed in Singapore. It's like my favourite ride in all of Magic Kingdom. You can see the castle. And it's closed. In my life. I'm trying to decide what to do now because a lot of things I want to do I want to eat, but I want to let my stomach settle so I can still go on some rides. I think what I need to do is just like plan out the rest of my afternoon. My, I feel like my vlog today has been very patchy because I've like been in a lot of places where I can't openly talk and I shouldn't even be openly talking like this but honestly what are you going to do? I can't help but that I'm famous. <laughs> Just kidding, I have like 27 subscribers on YouTube, like, sorry. <laughs> I'm in, I'm not sure where, Western, no I was in Western one. I don't know, like they all have weird names. Um, I'm seeing a surprisingly large percentage of gay men. Like, there's a lot of gays. I don't know whether it's just that there's so many fucking people here. Like, so many fucking people. That, like, it is what it is. But, like, um, that, like, because there's more people, that, like, whatever percent of people that are gay, there's just more of them that occur. Okay, so I've got a little something something for my friend. I want to buy all my friends, like, a little something from a trip. But I'll only buy it if I genuinely think it'll add value to their life and they'll enjoy it and love it. Because I don't want them to clutter up. Like I know I hate things being cluttered up and I know a lot of my friends do. So I've only bought one friend something just because she's gonna die over it. <laughs> it's so bad. But like I'm looking for some other stuff in between going on rides. I'm near the castle again. I'm fully cutting myself out of the castle. Me always being an narcissist and like having me in the shop. I'm like, look at the castle, and then I just like <laughs> pose at myself, like, what's more important? These camera angles are not a vibe, but honestly, like, it's easier to do than anything else. I'm always carrying my bag like such a gay boy cunt. Like, I saw a lady doing it and I was like, oh my god, I forgot how much I love that, but what you can do. Only I would wear fucking skinny jeans. Okay, so I've just got back to my local station. I made a friend, how exciting. I'm gonna go out for food and drinks. Um, she also convinced me to buy some Hokurai sweat, which I think it's grapefruit flavor, it might not be. It's basically an energy drink that's apparently meant to give you a second life. So she goes to Seoul the day after I go to Seoul and leaves Seoul the day after I leave Seoul. And then she goes to Hong Kong, like, like, the day after I go to Hong Kong, like, what? And then she goes back home, but like, she's from Canada. Um, we had a good chat. We were both in the single rider queue for um, Splash Mountain. And I like spoke English and she was like, oh my God, another English person that um, is in the single rider queue. So we started chatting, ended up spending the rest of the day together and decided to grab dinner. She's off to Osaka and stuff for um, the rest of her trip and then she comes back to Tokyo just for a day when I come back. Um, but yeah, no, so exciting. It's nice to meet someone, it's nice to have an English conversation. So I'm just walking across to um, my accommodation now. So this is really cool. I think the thing is, is like, my vlogs I feel like were really patchy, but the fine, if I'm just vlogging like this, this is what you want to see, like me making a friend and me, it's so busy. But I've really got the hang of like the subway and everything. So I'm honestly like just killing it, like not a problem. And it's really nice to have met someone that I can also hang out with in Solid and stuff too. It's exciting, so I'm gonna to go to my accommodation now.